Look at that great arrow made of journeys, that sperm of memories, from the Atlantic, from the sea to the Severn, pointing east towards London, that great arrow hidden in plain sight, pointing towards the seat of governance, the centre of empire, British bullseye. That great arrow showing the flow of wealth and power, Bristol, Bath, London, towards a palace built from Bath stone, towards a state that paid off the slave owners and never compensated the enslaved. Walking on the day Grenfell burned and as Windrush generations are betrayed, walking with legacies of slave ownership, walking with institutional racism, walking with what was done by people like me to people like me, that great arrow pointing up the river east towards London, towards a palace built from Bath stone transported on canals, funded by slave-generated wealth, a signpost on a trail of wealth, a trail of tears. This arrow points up the river, a scribble of captured walks under its triangular head, Bath. Wealth of still unacknowledged origin funded this enchanted city. Wealth generated by enslaved people made manifest. Portney's wealth began in plantations before he assumed his wife's name and riches. Portney's wealth increased on the stolen lands of American Indians betrayed by the British. Sugar barons, sugar barons, sugar barons and more. Portney, Beckford, Chandos, Codrington, Byam, Bathurst, Markland, the unmarked mark the city. We walked the snaky arrow away from its ornate and architectured head, its fine houses and embarrassed silences, reluctant heritage for some. Don't mention the sugar. We walked that arrow back past factories and foundries. We walked that river down to the sea past the black moulded copper slag stones. Memories seep and weep over the surface and down the old wharf walls. Hard relics poke through soft green avon like set bitumen or frozen molasses, once molten, now cold, hard material witnesses. Brass mills and cloth mills, gunpowder mills and makers of felt hats, the water-driven mechanical enterprises where the Industrial Revolution began, powered by the markets of West Africa, banking on riches to come. We took the tail of the arrow past tobacco packet factories and creosote leaks, passing the stilled chocolate factory, aroma less. You can't even smell the cheese. We ate bitter chocolate and wanted for sugar. Sweat in the rivers, blood and flesh in the sea, tears. They all turn in the water cycle. We walk down the river towards the sea. Time and pain, responsibility and shame folded into my white man's name, paced into my human footsteps. Shoals of huge fish surface and make their way up the river, slowly. Cormorants roost in the trees like lost coats washed away in the flood. The thought that we all walked out of Africa is not enough. Sweat in the water, sweet water returns as rain and mist. Layers of grief, layers of anger, layers of shame, folded and unfolded, sticky with the past. We got to the bridge and at dawn looked over for a moment, the Atlantic tide stills the river's flow. 
then we walk again. Now, all day in the heat and forever, two white men walk in the direction of that awful arrow. I walk traced and tracked becomes part of it.